so we are out of the gym. So, uh, <laughs> I can't believe Milo lost. Man, people were rooting for Milo and not the gym challenger. Uh, so now, uh, you can actually take on the gym challenge as many times as you want and rematch the gym leader as many times as you want, which is pretty nice for farming experience. But I don't think we're going to be doing that. Instead, we're going to go ahead and heal up. Okay, so now that we healed up, we are going to head on to the next place that we need to go to. And that is by heading over here. So let's go. Alright, so welcome to Route 5. Um, so, uh, oh my god, I was actually trying to avoid them, but I guess we have, I guess we are required to battle them. But, uh, this is our first actual double fight. Um, the last double fight that we had was a multi-battle, but this is a double fight where you have to use two Pokemon this time. It's, it's actually pretty cool. You'll see why. Good Pokemon tra and trainers really shine on camera. Is your strength? You're sure to keep winning during your gym challenge. Please let me get. Please let me get an interview again sometime. Okay, so the the whole battle was the interview. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so there's some Pokemon that you can find here. Lots of Pokemon, actually. We have. Uh, oh boy, that that Pokemon's coming after me. Um, okay, so we got a lot of Pokemon. We got Nuzleaf, which is the evolved form of Seedot, found in Sword only. Uh, we have Ninkata. We have. Esper, Spritzy found Shield only, Swirlix and Sword only, Dupiter, uh, Dottler, Applin, which like it is like this Pokemon that looks like an apple. We have Farfetch in Galar form, Wobbuffet, Drifloon, Mincino, and uh, Stuffle, which is that which is this cute Pokemon right here that tried to uh, come after me. So that's a lot of new Pokemon right there. Right there, right there. if you go behind the grass, you can get um, shed, the Shed Shell. And so this is Galliform Farfetch right here. This looks pretty cool. Whoa there! Sammy is about to evolve! Wow, that's a crazy looking Pokemon. We got Dreadnought. Alright, so we got Dredna, and that's all on Rock Tomb. Whoa there! Alright. Oh wow, nice. Water Rock type. That's that's a nice type advantage, I guess. Or nice typing, except really bad against grass. Uh protect? Well we'll get her we'll get her protect. So now hopefully Hopefully Sammy can become a little bit more powerful. Because Sammy hasn't really done a good job at KOing some Pokemon. Alright, so one of the main things in Route 5 is this place right here. This is the Pokemon Nursery. Um, and uh, two po when you leave two Pokemon in here, you get an egg. Uh, I don't need to leave any Pokemon in here. Actually, well, yeah, I don't need to. Well, I mean... Let's see, who can I leave in there? Let's go to my boxes and see. Uh, I'll have you put school bed in there. And then we'll never have school, school bed back. Uh, can I confirm? Yes, I'm done. Oh, it cost me 500. Eh, fine.
All right. So then we go inside. Is there anything you'd like to know? You can kind of know. You can kind of learn about the nursery. You can learn about eggs. And uh, what's interesting is that is that <laughs> you leave two Pokemon and they form an egg. It's like I don't know. I guess the, I guess when you leave two Pokemon, they kind of like do some things and then they form an egg. I guess, which would be kind of weird if you leave like a combination of a, a certain certain combination of two Pokemon. I guess I don't know. I'm just think, I'm think, I'm I'm just thinking about things that are not really important, basically. Also, that's a that Pokemon is something right there. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg can carry around me, and it hatched into a Toxel. All right, and so by talking to her, you get a Toxel. And so this Pokemon is it's Electric Poison type, and I will be using this on my team. My friend Matt is very huge on Pokemon, so it wouldn't be appropriate that if I had a, if I had a team team member not named after him. So we're gonna go ahead and name Toxel Matt. Ooh, EXP candies. That's a new one right there. We've never seen these in uh, previous. Well, I mean, I guess we saw a little bit of these in Let's Go in the Let's Go games, but that's pretty much it. So now we have a new team member. So now we have four out of six team members now. That's nice. This is on level one. Okay, it's gonna take a while to actually raise this Pokemon. That's okay though. But we, we I do intend on actually training it, so we'll be doing that off screen. Uh, okay, that way is progression. We're not gonna go there right now. Okay, so, I, so there's a little bit more things that we can see here in this route before we actually continue onwards. And you can catch some more Pokemon over there. And then we can go ahead and head down this way. And here you can find some other nice stuff. Such as some heal balls right there. Oh my god, there's four Pokemon chasing after me! Help! Help! <gasps> okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay. There's a, a berry tree over here. We're gonna go ahead and shake it more times, get more berries. Okay, there's five. Okay, let's go one more. No! Wow! Look at all those levels that it gained! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so we got only a few of those. That's unfortunate. Oh, look, a Drifter. Hey, buddy. So here's a new trainer class. This is a chef. Um, interesting thing about Toxel is that Toxel will evolve into a Pokemon. The the form this, the evolution form of the Pokemon uh, depends on what nature it is. So I'm actually gonna check its nature. It is uh calm nature. Okay. Nothing really happens. It's just kind of cool to know that it has it has like two forms. So that's that's really it. Uh, okay, so there's an item over here. We have TM31 for attract. It's a move that we're not going to be using, that's for sure. And then we have a Pokemon camp over here. But we have a hidden item behind this person's tent. Big mushroom. The secret to preparing an amazing meal is stirring it just right over the perfect heat. Alright, let's, uh, let's pay a little visit. All right, and then we continue onwards.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put Jason up front. Oh, what's this? Just hand over that bike already. We need it to cross this long bridge. Can you just walk across this long bridge? You're not gonna chase around gym challenges on a bike? You're crazy. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Okay. Yeah, sure. I can hear the conversation, though. Why are you gonna make Jim Chow just tired? Y'all are fighting just for a fight. Get that though. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna give away your bike anyway? Man, I feel bad. What are you gonna do without with what are you gonna do without a bike? I see right with three dots. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the more confident answer. And with that, we get a Rotom bike. So this is your bicycle in the game. It is automatically equipped, which is nice. And so if you have to use the bike. We actually change outfits. We have an outfit specifically for the bike. I don't know how you could just do that. It's so it's so bizarre. Uh, so the bike controls are really weird. Uh, the turning is just super clunky. But otherwise, you move pretty fast in this thing. It's pretty nice. Uh, I just saw it hit an item. Okay, there we go. So in the in this bridge, this really long bridge, you get um, a lot of hidden items. Uh, you can talk to the people here. They're just gonna go, they're gonna complain about Team Yell. I don't blame them. I would complain about Team Yell as well. So these feathers will just raise the uh, base power of your Pokemon. So that's pretty nice. You want to do some EV training. I don't literally mean the Pokemon EV. I mean EVs as in evolution values. No, no, not evolution values. Uh, effort values. And then I just got off my bike. Any close to a battle? Oh, great. Alright, alright, I better turn back then. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, actually, no, not just kidding. Because we're actually ready. I know. I took your I took the warning too. Alright, we're going for a battle. Alright, so Hop! Uh, Hop doesn't really have much of an upgrade other than just higher levels. That's pretty much it. 
Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holders team can do. Well, we're both gym badge holders, so let's see what we both can do. Uh, so we start up with Gulu, level 18 normal type, with tackle, growl, defense, crawl, and double kick. It's pretty simple enough. There we go. Took that out, no problem. With a, with a simple double kick. I know, right? You have one gym badge and you still have a master type advantages? I, I think that's kind of crazy. Alright, next up is Corvus Squire. I'm gonna use not my own Corvus Squire, but I'm gonna use my Dreadnought, my new Dreadnought for this. Corvus Squire, level 19 flying fight with Rear, Peck, Fury Attack, with Block. Okay. Go ahead and use Rock Tomb. It is going to be very powerful, man. Look how much more Sammy can do now that it's not a shootable anymore. It's pretty cool. Alright, Matt's growing levels pretty fast. Well, that, and then again, that's because it's it, we, we got a level 1. So that makes... It, it's, it, it only makes sense. Uh, let's use... Alright, and finally the Star Wars Pokemon. Which is the Star Wars one that you're strong that you're strong against, of course. So, if you have a uh, if you have a score bunny like me, so you have a Flappy, level a 21 grass type of round, razor leaf, double hit, and streak. If you have a what is it? If you have a Grookey, he's going to have a Drizzle, level 21. Water type with round, growl, water pulse, and bind. And then if you have a Sobble, he's gonna have a Reboot, level 21 fire type with round, growl, double kick, and flame charge. So the fight wasn't too super difficult. So there we go. We both got ourselves the same gym badge, so how come you're so much stronger? I don't know. Probably because I mastered type advantages earlier than you did. And then he gives us a revive. Don't you need that revive to revive your own Pokemon because you lost? Alright. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's our next gym leader that we have to take on. Nessa. Which, uh, Nessa is pretty special. And, um, I will, I will say why in the next episode. Alright, uh, I'm moving back and forth because there's like a lot of hidden items, and the radius for like, seeing the hidden items isn't really that good, so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not missing any of the hidden items. But really all you get are these feathers. Oh look, there's a wall poke one here. It's an Eldegoss. You want to catch it, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother. We're off to, but we're across the bridge, and now we're off to like a different part. It's pretty nice. Can fight some trainers here. Well, there's more trainers here. Uh, can I use? Uh, now nah, I'll wait like a couple more levels than that, and then we'll use Matt. But for now, I'm gonna take on this Pokemon breeder. Pokemon Breeder, you get three X special attacks. Alright. Um, yeah, they actually separate the X items this time. It used to be like the X items, it used to be like X special, which raises both your special attack and special defense. Um, even when they split the special stats. Um, but now it's, now it's a little bit different this time. It's pretty cool. Okay, nothing wrong with having Pokemon do your work. Alright, and so then head across.
And if you hear that music, we made it to Holberry. Holberry. I don't know. It, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this one in particular. But this is the home of the water type gym. And we made it! That's pretty awesome. Wait, 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 what's going on over here? Our sincere apologies, the chairman is quite busy at the moment. Wow, you must be really popular. Wow. All those people just feel rejected. And you were... I dare say I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. What Pokemon? I won't lose to anyone. I mean, you lost once. You were? Huh? Yes? A celebration? What's so special about beating Nessa that I get a celebration? Also, why are you dressed like that instead of in your, like, suit and tie? Okay, I feel like though you're like a uh, kind of pushy pushy here. All right. Well, anyway, we made it here to Holberry, so that is gonna be it for this episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And next time we're gonna be exploring this place and then take on the gym here. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.